Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 outrageous British TV moments. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most bizarre and hilarious moments from British telly history, especially if taken out of context. Do you know a clip that should have been featured on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Who? Celebrity Mastermind. Look, 2020 was tough for all of us, but there's no excuse for a brain fart like this. Amanda Henderson, famous for her time acting on the medical drama Casualty, sat in the chair for Celebrity Mastermind last year and gave us this brilliant moment. This question and subsequent answer has now cemented itself in TV history. The 2019 book entitled No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference is a collection of speeches made by a Swedish climate change activist. What's her name? Sharon. Greta Thunberg. Come on, you couldn't get away from Greta when she was in the news. And how many climate activists named Sharon do you know? Number 9. Hip Hop. University Challenge. Your bonuses this time are on women who won the Academy Award for Best Actress before the age of 30. Look, after the Hapax Legomenon incident, we're hardly ever surprised when one of these young geniuses throws out a random piece of knowledge, but this one definitely got us. During a round, a small segment of music was played, and the contestants had to guess the singers, and leave it to Ian Wang to bust out the answer. Ten points if you can tell me the band performing. Corpus Christi Wang! Is that Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five? Yes, it is! Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say why exactly everyone loves this moment, maybe it's just his inquisitive response, or the fact that this is so far removed from what we're used to on University Challenge. But nonetheless, it was brilliant. And is presented each year by the King of Sweden. <laughs> For your music bonuses, I simply... Number 8. An Odd Crush. The Graham Norton Show. Oh, but in Eddie's defense... <laughs> <laughs> in Eddie's defense, they draw them really sexy. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Redmayne is a heartthrob to people across the world, but alas, no one knows what gets him ticking. Fortunately, The Graham Norton Show has a habit of getting the truth out of people with its laid-back atmosphere, as well as the occasional drink here and there. In a segment discussing actors' childhood crushes, Redmayne lays out this bombshell. And I did, I, I, I loved The Lion King when I was younger and I had a weird obsession with Nala. Fortunately, the other guests are all good sports and totally go along with it. But really, mate, a lioness? That's wrong. <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> Number 7 When Keith Met Mel Shopping with Keith Lemon Basic Oh, someone, uh, someone stole something. I love to steal something. What? Just a little you something. You can steal something. Just something little like a potato. You'd steal one potato? Considering the, well, less than flattering impersonation of Mel B that Lee Francis did in Bo Selector, it's a huge surprise that these two get along so damn well. In this interview for Keith Lemon's new interview show, he asks some pretty spicy questions to the former Spice Girl. The two are brutally honest with one another, especially when discussing their books. <laughs> Have you read it? No. Who you need to? I will do. Have you read my book? No. How Lemon is able to ask these outrageous questions with a straight face is beyond us. I want to get some deodorant. Get some deodorant. Do you kick out a right pong then? No, but I, I know that. It's an I oldie, but a goldie. Kick it out a right pong! Number six, The Simpsons Dance. Strictly Come Dancing. Theme week is always an absolute riot, and we've seen some crazy costumes over the years, and 2020 was no different. For their dance, Max and Diane went with a Simpsons theme, complete with yellow makeup and some rather unique wigs. The whole thing is like a fever dream as the two hop around with inflatable donuts and act out some moves that are about as far removed from the Simpsons as you can get. Was it a good dance? Well, we have no idea. We were too busy picking our jaws off the floor to notice. <laughs> Number 5. Alison shows off her house. This morning, 
Alison Hammond has been one of the best additions to this morning in recent years. And whether she's getting chased by security outside the Leaning Tower of Pizza, or chatting with the cast of Blade Runner, she never fails to crack us up. And this little incident had us in stitches all the same. When showing off a house that viewers could potentially win, this is what happened to Alison. Oh, I'm stuck on the door, hold up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She's able to make a quick recovery, but after that, she and the presenters cannot stop laughing. Typical this morning. <laughs> I got stuck in the door! <laughs> oh, Number four, Christmas present. Would I lie to you? For this Christmas episode of Wilty, James Acaster joined the panel and told a tragic Christmas tale. One Christmas, on hearing I wasn't going to get the present I wanted, I tried to drown myself. Apparently, after learning he would not be receiving the Spice Girls debut album Spice from his parents at Christmas, James made a drastic decision. And I turned around so they could see my face. And I just sat down slowly. <laughs> <laughs> While the banter in this clip is hilarious, we are focused too much on the epic tale he tells. Either I get the Spice Girls debut album Spice, or I'm gonna die. <laughs> now the first thing you'd think is that he concocted this absurd story, but James, being James, lets us know the truth. I was telling the truth. <laughs> Number 3. Guess the word. Lingo. It's now time for your third and final four-letter lingo. Game shows like Countdown often find themselves with unfortunate innuendos and rude words popping up from time to time. The same can be said for lingo. For this round, contestants Michael and Craig had to fill in the gaps to complete words that pop on the graphic until they stumbled upon a more gripping one. Want W-A-N-T. We want this to be right. Ooh. Do you risk humiliating yourself on telly, or hold back the word that is on literally everyone's minds? Fortunately, they found a quick alternative. <laughs> oh, we're all glad it was one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, a very special report, BBC News. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit with this one, since it was technically posted by the fella himself, but BBC News was so proud of it that they played it a few times on telly anyway. That's the forecast, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Here, weather reporter Owen Wynne Evans cuts off his weather report to rush to his drum set and play along to the iconic theme song. It was a massive viral hit with other outlets showing it off and many trying to replicate his masterful play. But there's only one Owen and he makes us Welshmen proud. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Ched. Love Island. Listen, words are hard, we get that, but come on Ched. When a very difficult question is thrown at Ched by his fellow villa mate Jess, he finds himself at a loss for words. Do you know what, like, you know when you feel, like, you, like, you're like, oh, oh, she's, like, do you know, like, a blonde girl, do you know what I mean, like... Piers Morgan has often questioned the intelligence of those who appear on the show, and sometimes humiliated himself in the process, but this one absolutely floored him. You know, like, 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 blonde, like, blonde, blonde, like, like, blonde, hilarious. blonde, blonde, like, blonde. For us, though, we're in awe, as Ched just has a way with words. Do you know what, like, you know when you feel, like, you, like, you're like, oh, oh, she's, like, do you know, like, a blonde girl, do you know what I mean, like... Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.